the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 143, Psalms 19-27 The Lord's sweeter than honey. In the circumstances where countless deep sighs were repeated, David always meditated on the word and prayed in order to keep the words of his lips, thought, and mind focused on God. First point. David confessed that God's laws, the Pentateuch, was sweeter than honey. David learned the content of the Pentateuch at a young age from his father. We remember that this is what Moses requested. This commandment is that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. David, who learned about the Pentateuch, confessed, The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. In Psalm chapter 19, David glorified God whilst looking at his creation of the sky and the sun. He confessed that God's laws are perfect and that it governs his life. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour false speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. David, furthermore, in Psalm 19, verses 7 to 14, sang of the perfection of God's commandments and the benefits they have for humans. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servants also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord my Lord and my Redeemer. David had an honest wish. This was for his words and thoughts to be accepted by God. David realized that God's words are sweeter than honey. Thus, he was able to confess that the laws helped him live a life that was fulfilling and freeing. Second point, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Was first said by David, and then by Jesus a thousand years later. Similarly to Job, David also cried to God when God was silent before his distress. However, David did not let his cries become a complaint. He knew that God would answer him in the end. This was repeatedly shown throughout David's lifetime. David sang praises to God and also for Jesus the Messiah who was to come. Psalm chapter 22 contains the content preceding Jesus' suffering. Psalm chapter 23 shows Jesus as the shepherd. And Psalm chapter 24 foretells about Jesus, the glorified King. As such, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? was used by Jesus a thousand years later. David cried out to God in deep lament. In this situation, David cried out, but no one heard him. The only one he could turn to was God. David knew that God would never disown him. As David prophesied, Jesus cried out the words a thousand years later 
when he was being nailed at the cross. Third point, David confessed that the Lord was his shepherd. The Bible contains many metaphors describing the relationship between God and the Israelites. Prophet Isaiah expressed God as the king. Prophet Hosea called God father. And Prophet Ezekiel called God the husband. David referred to God as his rock, his shelter, and his refuge in Psalms. But the main reference that David made was God as his shepherd. David himself used to be a shepherd, and he knew just how much effort the shepherd made to look after his sheep. Thus, David called God his shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. During his teens, David looked after his father's sheep. He fought against a bear and a lion to protect his father's sheep. David confessed that God looked after him as if he was the sheep and God the shepherd. David sang that God was with him through all situations, no matter how difficult. A sheep does not need to fear so long as it is guided by the shepherd. The shepherd and the staff guide the sheep to ensure their safety. Thus, the staff that guides can be seen as God's love. God sometimes furnishes with his staff because he loves us. Fourth point, David confessed that God, his king, is the God of glory. In Psalm chapter 24, David sings of God the Messiah, who is the God of glory. This was written during the time when David ordered for the ark to be moved to Jerusalem. Lift up your hands, you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, you gates, lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. There was a time that Israel had lost the ark to the Philistines. The ark had moved around here to there for a long time, and so David was overjoyed at the thought of it being moved to Jerusalem. David wanted the entire Israel to be filled with joy. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a fool's God. The person who stands in front of God must have the heart to listen to God's words. Before we go to worship, God expects us to come in holiness. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Fifth point, David confessed that he waits for God all day. Psalm chapter 25 was written in the order of the Hebrew alphabet called Acrostic Poem. This kind of poem was written in Psalms 25, 34, and 119, and also by Jeremiah in Lamentations. Psalm chapter 25 was written by David asking God to save him from his enemies. David stood before God and confessed that he was a sinner and asked God for his forgiveness. One must ask for God's forgiveness before asking for his mercy and salvation. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. The reason David managed to stay as God's servant 
until the very end was because he always had the heart to repent. This pleased God enormously. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.